Hello, and welcome to something totally new to the channel. This is the uh, Claw Game Roguelite uh, Dungeon Clawler. Uh, I played one run off stream just to get a feel for it, and uh, it seems it seems fun. I'm uh, I'm into the design. I'm into the concepts. It'll be interesting. It was uh, it was inspired by uh, Peglin. So the developers kind of saw Peglin, and they were like, "We could do something like this." Uh, yes, and this is indeed a new game, Sam. So uh, the developer reached out, provided us a key, and uh, we're gonna give a go to Dungeon Clawler. So let's uh, let's dive right in. The one caveat is the sound of my voice is going to be the only uh, the only sound effects. So uh, we'll go slot one here. So the idea is your claw machine is gonna be filled with stuff like daggers that do five damage, shields that, that block for five, a big shield that blocks for 10, and a sword that does 10 damage. These last two you'll notice have a secondary effect where if you pick them up by themselves, uh, they will do double their, uh, their effect. And then there's a bunch of artifacts that do various things and a bunch of items. Uh, I, I think it's pretty decent, but we'll uh, let's let's get on into it. We'll start our first run here. Okay, a little bit of a thing. So you collect items with the claw, hover your mouse cur cursor over those items to find out. We walk around the map. The map is actually kind of an interesting thing. We'll see it when we get into it, but it's more of like a grid-based system than your standard like tree-based system. Uh, a and D to move your claw, sp space to drop your claw, space again to manually close it, which can be helpful for picking up single items, backspace to skip your turn, and you can change the game speed. We'll be playing on ultra. Let's let's go. So this is this is what I'm talking about. So you know we can kind of move through this, and the first area is pretty straightforward. But much in a slay the spire style, we have intense for the enemy units. So we'll be doing something like this, and our goal is to generate. 12 block while also doing some damage with our daggers, I feel like. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down the left hand side here. I think we get three daggers and that. They roll on in. And order matters there. So we almost have enough defense. I'll try and grab this chunk here. Looks like we got one more dagger. We did fully defend though, so I think that's the most important part. Now you can imagine how much better this would feel with a little bit of sound effects. But Like it's, it has a good, it has good bones <laughs> is what I will say. I like the gameplay loop. I'm interested to play it a little bit more, but we'll see, you know, may not be a, may not be a five hour stream of dungeon clawler depending, but there's uh there's some good stuff going on here for sure. I think, I think we want to defend up health regen can be a little hard to come by. I think. So, okay, so we have, we have a metal shield, which is, is just an upgrade over our wooden shield. Although, uh, items have properties like upgradable and metal that make them interface with different things. And there's some interesting dynamics that are going to be at play there with like magnetism, working only on metal items, etc. I think poison dagger is a strong pickup. Uh, poison has been strong for me in the past. There seem to be some interesting relics that help out with it. So I'll go with a, I'll go with a poison dagger. I would have liked to have gotten a little more shielding there. I think we're going to take a bit of damage here, even if we get both of those shields. Yeah, we'll take a couple. Or a singular point of damage, I should say. Uh, save the poison dagger, I think. I see a few other games that got their inspiration for mechanics. Yeah, there's been some interesting games that have come out of uh, of this world. The game can also decide to drop items outside of your chute. Uh, if you get enough big items. I, I've seen some things like that. Uh, this looks like it might be a reroll. Metal shield is decent. Well, we can drop a wooden shield later on. So we'll grab metal shield. 
And then this is our first chance at artifacts. So all of these are on display. And what's going to happen is, is this thing is going to rotate around and it will dump items down into the bottom here. So we have like poisonous weapon, more fluff. Those are the little inert items, hoarder, so on and so forth. We'll kind of, we'll see them as we go, but I wouldn't mind poisonous weapons. Looks like we're not going to get that. Ooh, we got magnetism. Increase the range of magnets by 20%. I think magnets are quite strong. And I don't know that we have a gold build going here. So we'll grab magnetism. But we're going to need to get some... Uh, we're going to need to get some magnets for magnetism to do much. <laughs> not to... Uh, not to say, say the obvious, but... All right, so we got the front one dead, so we're good. Poison does tick before their turns go. So if we can get sufficient poison, we're good to go. Would have liked more uh, more attacks and slightly less defense there. We are wildly over defended. But so far, so good. Hand of Midas is interesting. So Hand of Midas converts our fluff into gold. I think that can be a good early game enabler. So we'll grab that. And this, so I really like this because of the tutorialization that it picks. For, for my first game, I kept trying to go for these big piggy banks, which are worth a lot. If you ever need health, you can very consistently pick up all the small stuff over here. We'll go for some piggy banks this time. I would guess we get one or zero of them. With, with the way that my luck generally seems to go. Okay, that wasn't bad. First boss. So we can see that the Hand of Midas has converted a few fluff to coins. On this first turn, we're happy to... We don't really want to pick up the hand, because as it gets near other coins, it would have uh, it would have converted them. So that was probably exactly the opposite of what we wanted to do. But I kind of wanted to just get to them. And sometimes the coins can kind of get stuck under the... Uh, under the hand and you can't really get to them. Okay, so we're taking some damage because this thing has applied thorns to itself. We do full heal after bosses. And the order in which these go in is going to matter. So yeah, so we're going to take all the thorns damage and then get some AC, which is... Kind of the reverse direction of the way we want that to go down, but. So other mechanics that I've seen in this game that have been interesting is you can shrink and expand items, which seems very interesting. And then you can also, they have like uh, magnetism mechanics and also floating mechanics. So at some point you can fill up your basin with, uh, with water. So Swamp, there's always 20% water inside the machine. Uh, speaking of water, Hard Hits, increase critical hit chance by 5%, or Minimalist, get 2 strength if there are no items left in the machine at the end of your turn. This is insane to me. I have no idea how you would completely empty out your machine. I kind of want to do Swamp just to demonstrate the way that it works. And then this is what I mean by the grid. So now we can go down either of these paths. We can either get, use your coins to gamble for items or upgrade. What do we have that we would want to upgrade? The poison dagger and also Midas hand are good upgrade targets, I think. So we'll go down. So now there's a bit of water and I am unsure how this is going to affect things. I know wooden objects float. So we have that going. So let's see, right now we're taking a tiny bit of damage, so... But it doesn't look like there's a great grab that's going to give us some... We get, we could probably completely kill the front one if we got a good grab over here. So let's just go for that. Yeah, looks like we got it all. So I think it's full right about here in Lustrous. So it doesn't, it doesn't go all the way up. Let's, let's grab this. We'll just try and grab some some of that. I do like the physics on the claw. Okay, so we need a lot more. We need a lot more defense here. So I'm gonna go. All right. the The fact that we didn't hit helped us there. This is a turn where we can kind of go for it. 
I, I want to kind of grab some of these coins that Midas is throwing out there. All right, we just get the kill. Poison Grenade. Uh, as far as I know, there's no way to see the upgrades for these. So Poison Bath Bomb turns water into poison water, turns fluff into poison fluff, applying one poison to the nearest enemy. So Poison, poison Bath Bomb has a synergy with our current artifact. So maybe we try this out. So all of this fluff is now poison fluff? Or, oh, I have to pick up the bath bomb. Okay, so the bath bomb doesn't land in the water. This is going to convert the water over to poison. Okay, got it. So now if we grab this, and then our poison fluff is just applying poison to the front one. I'm not sure that's, like, hugely impactful. Okay, so this this guy here added spikes. So now we have spikes to uh, to, to deal with. Are you positive somewhere? I have had a different experience with it in the run that I had going. So I'm I'm not convinced that it works that way. I I believe that every time new stuff drops, see this is all new. These are new coins here somewhere. These weren't here before. This was new fluff that dropped in that landed near it. So the hand does remain active and triggers at the beginning of every turn. I'm like 99% sure. But we will we'll continue observing. Let's see. Nine isn't that hard to block. We've already used the poison bath bomb. I'm not sure. Does it only activate for a certain number of turns? It doesn't appear to. So I guess we'll always have poison. Let's see, where do we want to go here? We can just grab some of the stuff over here on the right. Oh, that was a bad grab. Whoops. Yeah, so I, I, you, it's hard to see it there, but these three coins are new. So that's why, that's why I was saying that the Mida, leaving the hand is of value. And the hand, incidentally, has the bubble icon there, which means that once it once you pick it up and use it, it's single use. So uh, you you can't get more value out of it. Like now that it's gone, it's gone. We're getting we're getting spiked a little bit here. So far, the poison fluff is not. Uh, wildly useful for us. That's probably going to cause us to take some damage. You've ruined everything, the dud. How could you how could you betray my trust? No. We're we're still very early. It's very early days. We're learning a lot of things. We're doing a lot of science. But I think like I will say this game with a little bit of sound design is going to be uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, th this game is a lot more kind than your average claw machine. Uh, this game would be, I think, rage-inducing if it uh, <laughs> if if it had normal claw machine physics. That's a lot of poison fluff, though. So there are definitely synergies where you can get more poison fluff. Also, get one block every time you use an item. So it can only be collected once per fight. It must give us... This must be like a power. I think our fluff counts as items now. Hard mode is when you get normal claw machine physics. Nightmare fuel. Let's, let's grab the gauntlet. It's yellow. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so I'm going to get... I think I'm going to try and get this upgraded. What is? What happens with the gauntlet? We gain more from it. That seems like a good upgrade. And then let's upgrade our poison dagger. And now we're broke. But now the, the Midas hand. Oh, right off the bat, we can get the gauntlet. And the poison bath bomb. Sure, this seems good. Okay, so now the question is, do does all our fluff count for generating block? So we have one, two, three, four. 
Yep, they all they all triggered. So I think this is a good I think this is a good synergy. And now you can see how big the glove uh the excuse me, the minus hand is. Like it, it's really doing a lot of work. We have to be a little careful that we don't pick up these poison blobules, but But you can see the way the coins start to get going. I think we'll do this even though we're we're risking it a little bit. Because if we can get that left hand side. 15, we're already pretty good, so. <laughs> now you're thinking with last spell in Lustrous. Let's see, where there's so much money over here. Let's let's start out with this though. See if we can just get some incidentally. I don't love the fact that I am poisoning myself, but the cash is good. So see, as this is stacking up, we're starting to get to the point where we we can't dig to the bottom and get our poison fluff anymore. Hey, casual Viking, how's it going? What's shaking? Good to see you. Okay, that should get the kill on the first one. Uh, there are some poison synergy relics that we will see, hopefully, because we're we're definitely building in that direction. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna. Oh, the left hand side is so much poison and so much gold. The block is pretty crazy here, though, I will say. Uh, we may have to just, uh, we may just have to dive into this, if I'm being honest. Oh, congrats on Elder Licked A6, casual Viking. Heck yeah. Ugh, bad, bad grab there. But we may have opened up some coins here for minimal poison damage. I will say that the enemy healing can be really oppressive in this game. Uh, <laughs> the, the enemy do got those heals. And and we really need some way to separate the poison from the from the rest here. This guy's kind of chipping us down slowly. If we could get these two. Ooh. This is close to a kill. All right, we got the kill. All right, we get out of there. It is an interesting little game. Uh, poison grenade? Yeah, let's grab a poison grenade. Didn't we grab a poison grenade before? I feel like I haven't seen it. Do you, let's get the gauntlet going before it gets buried. Because this is another thing you have to think about with this game is as things get buried, they become very hard. Okay, do we try and do a precision grab on the... On the uh, oh, I got the hand. Damn. I was going to try and get just that, but there's definitely some some art to to do that but you can see the uh the frog guy just made one of our shields big which is going to make it nigh impossible for us ever to pick that one up we'll convert our fluff over and get a little bit of damage but i i think it's uh i think it's sneko eye in the last uh in slay the spire in the last spire oh no this is when you know i'm in uh i'm in the weeds that allows you to on kill spread poison. There is something like that in this game. So hoping that uh hoping that we can find that. But poison grenade seems to be doing really good work for us. Alright, we'll grab this. The last spire, yes. That would be a, a very interesting mashup for sure. Let's go. I think we're we're relatively okay, so let's go on this left side and see if we can just pick up some money. Sweet. Another hand of Midas seems greedy. Fills the machine with water. I think I think this could be good. Let's try it out, right? We're we're still in science mode. Okay, so let's see. So if I grab Oh, not grabbing the gauntlet feels bad. 
I'm going to try again. So now we need to get Poison Bath Bomb. And then we can try getting Water Bottle just to see what happens. Maybe we can get Water Bottle. It's kind of buried at the moment. But yeah, there's something there's something very interesting to this game. Like I I think it has a good a good concept on it. Okay, so that's that's full of water. And you can see our fluff. So we've made a mistake cuz we've converted all our fluff over to gold. I'm now realizing. <laughs> Which is Perhaps a little suboptimal because otherwise we'd be getting like tons of fluff, which was kind of what I was thinking we would be doing. All right, at least we fully defended it. Yeah, I think we have I think we have discovered our first anti synergy. And it was going to kill us. Because <laughs> we have we have no healing and we don't have enough defense. So we want to avoid the water bottle. That much is for certain. I think our poison dagger is going to be our best bet. But every time he does that triple 13 attack, we're going to be in a bad way. So, oh, if we pick up Midas Hand, though, then it, it will stop uh, It will stop converting the new fluff that we get. Maybe. I don't know when you get fluff, though, if I'm being honest. Okay, this is one where we should just defend as best we can. Well, if we can apply a little bit of poison, I think that's fine, too. So, one, one thing that I have noticed is the position that the claw gets placed in is initially is like perfectly aligned with the left hand side so you can uh you can basically guarantee do we have a high value something we don't really right now all right we'll just grab this stuff oh and i love that things can get stuck here this is so like proper claw machine uh technology i kind of dig it You can knock things down, although this may be laying a little too flat, so it may just uh, it may just get stuck. Let's see, we've already defended fully, so it looks like maybe you don't get more fluff over the course of time. Yeah, it seems like we'll only get fluff back if we. I probably should have defended more there. Health is health is our most precious resource. I think an, if we started picking up coins, maybe we would. But oh, perfect defend! All right, we're almost there. We're we should just focus on defending here. Because if we can weather this storm, we we survive and we can start think, rethinking our uh, our decisions. That was not enough defense, but it's enough that we don't die. I guess you try and pick up coins now. All right. Good enough. But yeah, poison does... Poison seems very strong in this game. For the enemies, too. Uh, retain up to 10 block between turns. Seems good. Uh, first item each turn is used twice. Seems good. But I think vaccine is potentially very important. So we remove poise, three poison at the end of each turn. So this is where this is where the map starts to get interesting. Okay, that's good to know. So we can either go up here and we get a mystery room, a blacksmith and this, or we have a shredder room, a pachinko machine, and a percomat. I'm going to go down because I want to get rid of our Midas gauntlet. 
Because I think it is anti-synergying us pretty, pretty hardcore. Which is a shame, because... Obviously, we, we invested a lot in it. But the things ramp up uh, here, just as a as a side note. Yeah, it looks like it looks like once the gold, it looks like once the fluff is converted to gold, if you pick up the gold, you don't get more fluff. This guy also has like no chill. I just want to say, double elevens is is too darn much. I'm going to try and just get some of these coins off the floor. See if we can make a little more money. Looks like no. Okay, so this is... This is a dodge attack. We have to hit him one more time. And then we're good to go. Uh, I want to play... I want to play a few. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to go for a while, I think. I think we can do better than all of this. Does plastic float? Plastic does not float. Okay. I think healing flask is a good one. Okay. I am sorry. We will shred Midas. I think we like water bottle. Let's shred one little shield because we picked up a metal shield. I don't think small sword is doing much for us. So let's shred those three. Thin to win. Keep things consistent. Then we have one of these. We can get a ring of strength. But we won't. I can play again, though, I guess. I wonder how many times you can play. Looks like until you run out of money. All right. And then we have this. So this is the poison weapon is good. We're interested in that if we can get it. All right, we got... Looks like we won't. Looks like our options are start each fight with spikes or retain 10 block. Let's retain 10 block because I think that plays well with our gauntlet. And then we can fight this fight or not. We'll go ahead and fight it. Oh, I, I shouldn't have moved that. Oh, gauntlet, Why? Twenty-three damage seems like a not insignificant amount of damage. So if we don't get the poison bath bomb, we don't get our fluff engine going. So I'll do this, but we're gonna take a big hit here. It looks like. Uh, I don't. Uh, we'll try it out in Lustrous, but I'm not sure that that actually works that way. Uh, because I think that there's you can, like there's certain ways that you can and can't move. Um, okay, so let's see. So I think I think with the water full here, we get like a ton of fluff, and a ton of fluff means a ton of defense. Okay. Oh, and our poison grenade floats too. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't. Um. Okay, full full block feels good there. We can uh, we can redo water bottle and bath bomb. I don't think bath bomb does anything, but water bottle is good. I probably should have thought about the fact that removing removing wooden stuff is probably maybe it's bad for us, or maybe like the big win here is. is getting just to the point where all we have is wooden and fluff. 
also appears once again you spread misinformation as you're not getting new fluff yeah it does seem like fluff is a limited resource that that does appear to be a thing that is happening let's see things that are on the edge can sometimes be tough to get but we got our healing potion so so we may need to find ways to acquire more fluff Why is the ring floating? I do not know. I don't think you can add more more water. Um, but we can we can try and look for a synergy there. Yeah, so the ring floats very slowly. Which I find, like, vaguely bizarre. But that's okay. But we do have a scaling engine now that we have the ring. And the poison takes this guy out, so we're just... We're just in the money. YouTube died? Looks good to me. Somewhere. Is it YouTube chat that died? Hey, Brad. Yeah, Brad... Brad was in here. It's a plastic ring. That seems reasonable. Ooh, a magnet. Oh, but now we have... We'll still take the magnet. Magnets are good. So, so in Lustrous, there was a cracked hole here. So we, we can go back, but we can't go over that. It's too big to jump over. And once we kill the boss, we exit the area. So we can't go back. Okay, thank you, Tom, for letting me know. So the problem is we're going to pick up, when we pick up the bath bomb, we're also going to pick up a lot of fluff. So we lose that fluff, I guess. Oh, great. More poison coming in. Fantastic. Oh, and the poison floats too. That's unpleasant. Look at the friggin' magnet down there, though. Uh, <laughs> it's collecting some stuff. The magnet's doing some weird stuff. Um, and also, these purple items are in some way, like, cursed, I believe. So they, they kind of, like, bounce around like crazy. At the moment, we're not doing a very good job defending. Let's see if we can grab the magnet now. At least we got the gauntlet. And the magnet does come back. So you can see the way that like magnet synergy can be pretty interesting. And sometimes the cursed items get very bouncy. <laughs> oh, dang it. Poison thingy. This fluff seems to be stuck to this dagger, which is interesting. I don't know if the water is helping us that much. Uh, certainly the fluff seems to be good. Okay, let's go for the magnet, see if we can grab it. Not without poisoning ourselves a lot, but we did take the antidote, so we... We aren't too worried about poison. But it certainly seems like the uh certainly seems like the magnet is doing a really good job of keeping all the poison on top of it. <laughs> um I don't think that's the way that's supposed to work, but there is this cluster of of poison that is just really uh, blocking all our fun. Ooh, that was a bad grab.
It, it certainly does seem like water and magnets do not play well together. Um, <laughs> hey, if our first run is just an anti-synergy run, we got something going on. Yeah, so maybe maybe water bottle isn't helping. Maybe we can grab the magnet now. Magnet potentially makes for like giant turns is one thing that I will say. Okay, you can just stay there. I don't mind that. Okay. Okay, so where where are we going? I'll grab a poison dagger. We probably just need healing right now, I think. So we'll just grab some of that. We probably could have grabbed a couple more coins, but we're pretty rich. Okay, boss number three. We still might as well get our fluff going. I'd like to get I'd like to get the gauntlet. So we'll grab that. And then we'll grab some fluff. It does appear to be a moth. Okay, let's grab let's grab the strength ring. Because strength doesn't change the amount of poison that we apply, right? Yeah, it's still it's still just one each. But the the gauntlet is like a hard carry on insane block, especially with like our early fluff generation. I love the sentences that roguelites sometimes make you say. It is one of my favorite things. All right. It, it for a moment looked like the health potion was met metal. That's not the symbol for metal, though. I think that's the symbol for glass. But we're uh, we're absolutely cruising now that we're not using the water bottle. Good things are happening. Magnet magnet is strong. Poison fluff is working out. What so I immediately pick up water bottle. Don't don't remind me. He's hitting for 50. All right. Well, it's a good thing he's dying, I guess. Brand new sentences indeed. Catnip increased damage done by your pets by 20%. I've never had a pet. Increase the amount of fluff in your machine by 10. Let's get more fluff. Give me all that fluff. These guys are, are a little scary. So we're going for the bath bomb now. Okay. We do have a lot of fluff now. Substantial fluff. We could uh I I could see gauntlet thorns being pretty uh pretty OP. I don't think we've seen a spiky shield yet, but they do exist. Okay. Helmet doubles your block. Another poison grenade or a ticking bomb. We have some money. Let's roll. Let's see if we can find something that synergizes a bit more. Sickle attacks the nearest enemy for 15 as a 30% chance of critting. This paperclip scales off your strength. I don't think that's what we're looking for. All right, one more roll and then we're done. Spiky shield. I said it could be good. Hand of Midas, I think, could go crazy with all the fluff. See a strange, ancient-looking altar in the room. What do you do? Place dagger on the altar and see what happens. Place dagger on the altar, see what happens. Walk away. Hmm, between these two choices, I like the first one. My dagger was duplicated. So we just got an extra dagger. I don't think I like that very much. But that's okay.
I feel like I'm wasting fluff because bath bomb is not available. So, okay. So we just got fike, spikes. So spikes doesn't go away. That's quite interesting. So spikes is a permanent buff. But unfortunately, we didn't grab gauntlet. So we're going to get slapped here. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Sometimes it can be really hard to pick things up. I'll, uh, oh, that was that was dirty. Oh, good grab there though. And then we almost got the magnet. Okay, let's, we want to get the regen that's over here, if we can. An IRL claw machine moment. If this if this game didn't have some uh, some realistic claw machine stuff, we'd be in trouble. Okay. Shuriken fits with the poison build. Spiky shield fits with the. I think in poison we trust. I wonder what the bomb is going to do. Hmm. Could be anything. Does the bath bomb at least float? That's good. Oh. I'm going to take going to take half my fluff with me when I get the bath bomb. Wait, does poison fluff float and the other fluff doesn't? All fluff floats. It looked like it was it was floating up, but maybe I was just hallucinating. All right, we gotta we gotta kill the kill the bomb, or we need to defend up. We should do get a lot of defense for like a grab like this with all the fluff. I think this is probably the way to go. All right, and getting the kill was even better. Let's just let's just try and get some stuff out of this corner. Hey, Alex. Yeah, this is an interesting one for sure. Hey, uh, Kasarin, and good morning to you as well. Yeah, the the I still find the lack of sound effects a little off-putting. I will uh, I will cop to that, but uh, there's some very interesting mechanics here for sure. I think we can afford to reroll this. Another shuriken works for me. So see now here we can go. Let's let's see if we can get some upgrades first, I guess. So poison dagger, let's upgrade you. Shuriken. Let's get both our oh, let's get our magnet upgraded. I think that's gonna be good. Alright. There we go. So now the magnet is pretty stupendously uh stupendously strong we definitely need some shields oh getting all three of those i think is good for business hey thank you alex yes this is the one that we talked about yesterday uh the devs reached out and uh and we're excited for us to give it a go so i decided we'd uh we'd roll with it and see how it see how it goes a little worried that we haven't gotten the gauntlet yet. Magnet almost did good work there. Do we think we have a kill here? I kind of don't feel like we do. Ah, oh, we're decently defended though. The magnetism, they they did nail the uh, the magnetism's uh, stickiness. Another gauntlet. More gauntlet? More gauntlet. 
Gauntlet fluff synergy. That's the uh, that's the thought here. Okay, we got Gauntlet, so right now we just want as many things as possible to go off. I think we're going to take some big damage right now. Okay, yes. Confirmed. Big damage received. Let's get, we got we to gotta set up turn, so we'll get the heal. <laughs> Not over my TLS Gauntlet arc. Oh, for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, so let's see. So something like this is good. I wish the claw wasn't quite so aggressive. <laughs> All right, let's just get a bunch of fluff here along with the health potion. And if we can get the health potion again. The health potion is such a clutch pickup. I feel like you, you either need like a ton of block Oh, do we not get the health potion in that case? I guess we don't. Good to know. Good to know. All right, so we get two pachinko machines and a reward. We'll start with the reward. Okay, the reward is healing. I'm going to go over here so we have a unpiggy banked setup, and that's some good healing. Uh, okay, we want this quite badly. Nice. I don't think we care about a small... This is a small sword. I think it's still the same one as before. I think it's kind of big. I think we'll skip that. Uh, I'll have to check it. I'll have to check it next time. Uh, I have not tried moving the claw. Not getting the poison bath bomb is a bummer there. Okay, that magnet shenanigan right there was quite intense. Uh, we have gauntlets. Let's just let's just see what what we can do with this. Get the other gauntlet going. So now we're getting every time we use an item, we are gaining three. Oh, and that's a lot of items. So this is what I was saying about magnets. They can get kind of nutty, it seems like. Okay. Magnets, how do they work? Small sword is indeed bigger than a... Bigger than a dagger. That, that resonates with me. So I think our new build is gauntlets plus just a bunch of magnets doing work. I don't mind what's happening here. Strength potion. Double your strength. I don't think so. Heat gun is quite interesting. It shrinks items. I don't think that's the build we're on right now. Don't think that's any of that, is it? Poison grenade. I can get down with. So let's see. Contagious venom. If you kill a poisoned enemy, apply its poison stacks to all other enemies. Please. Oh, so close. Nope. <laughs> more fluff? Or more vaccine? Let's go more fluff. And hopefully I won't regret this. None of our gauntlets showed up in our opening hand here. Alright, I think we just grab what we can grab here. Oh, the bad claws. Moth is indeed here for a rematch. I think I got to dig for the gauntlet, though. Please go. Thank you. Okay, now, now we have our combo going. We can grab for the magnets here. We can grab the other gauntlet and the strength ring. Yes, they, they go until level 5. 
Uh, and then there is a boss that uh, that I have only briefly seen that seems quite unpleasant. But right now we're uh, we're cruising a little bit. I feel like. Yep, I would say so. This guy's dead. Start with five block. Retain ten block. Increase the amount of items that can be dropped into your machine by ten. Hoarder seems good. Uh, this is a... It's somewhere between demo and coming up on an early access. Is my understanding. So we can do upgrades. Let's get this upgraded for sure. And then let's get the other poison dagger upgraded. And I think I can't go back past the entrance. So yeah, so I'm stuck going through this hard fight now. If the gauntlet landed first, that would have been cool. We get some good aggregate damage from the spikes here. We're going to take a bunch of damage, though. Yeah. There wasn't a lot we could do about that, I don't think. And then I think... I, I think we can go for the health potion right now. Oh, torturous. I think getting some healing is the most important thing right now. We're getting claw machine something fierce right now. There we go. Little bit of healing. And exact block, too. All right. I think it's time to finish this guy. It's really, it's really satisfying the way they all slide down. I don't think we need another spike shield. Hand of Midas would be hilarious, but I don't think we need it there either. I love that we got the health potion in there. That feels good. We missed Hand of Midas, though. Doesn't really matter, I don't think, but... Or not Hand of Midas, excuse me, Gauntlet. Gauntlet and Health Potion? The dream. The good news is, I think that the, the spreading poison thing, while very good, uh, is not going to help us with the boss. So... We may be okay. I don't think we need doubles block right now. Let's just let's keep it as is. So we can go for a reward here and a reward here. I feel like if I go for both of those gauntlets, I get neither of them. So we'll go we'll go like that. Yeah, the, the poison fluff thing seemed like a good idea at the time, but I think it was actually a bit of a, a misdirect from our magnet build, which I think is the actual star of the show. Okay, really wanted me to take that shuriken, I guess. Don't you float? Do you really not float? Right, I'll just go for this then. Yeah, Poison Fluff definitely helped out in the early game. That's for sure. It's weird. I, I could have sworn the Healing Flask was floating earlier. Maybe I, maybe I hallucinated that. Oh, it's floating. Okay. Good gravy. <laughs> the magnets. All 
Remove water bottle. That could be a smart plan for sure. Collect all plastic items inside a small radius and increase damage by five for every collected item. Is plastic, is fluff plastic? I don't think it is. Let's, uh, let's save our money. Yeah, so I think we can go back through these two if we want to. Ooh, I should leave one of these for right before the boss. Now that I remember what these are. Okay, cool. So yeah, so we can go through here to get to the shredder. We got some, we got a shark of some sort, of some ilk. Okay, I, I can't complain about that. That was absolutely fine. Getting getting that gauntlet in the first grab is good because the rest we can kind of like. I don't think we need the other gauntlet right now. Well, if we grab like that, maybe we do. Um, I'm gonna skip because I think we're just let's let's save our money to get rid of. get rid of stuff because i think we if we thin out our deck a little bit we might have a good thing going on right now I, i'm mostly concerned with not taking damage yeah i will keep poison bath bomb i'm just not going to keep water bottle water bottle's been dead weight for us but I, I think Poison Bath Bomb to convert some of our fluff is still good. Could probably remove all your shields since you get so much block from gauntlets. I don't think we have... An, it's quite expensive to remove items. But I think that's... That's an interesting idea. So Water Bottle should go... Yeah, see, I, I can only do two shields because we're kind of broke. But I think that's still good. I think that's the best thing to get shredded. Okay. Yeah, and then having Poison Bath Bomb right on the top here is absolutely fine. We didn't get a gauntlet, though. Oh, we did not get a gauntlet. Good stuff. We have yet to get a gauntlet. All right, that's probably fine. We'll just we'll just grab some fluff from over here. We're we're plenty defended, and vaccine will protect us. We got like a pyramid of magnetized garbage in the middle here. Yeah, so that was kind of a worst case scenario for our gauntlets, which is why I wouldn't want to get rid of all of our shields. Reflect the next attack, debuff, or debuff to the attacker. That seems strong. I'll, I'll grab one of those. Now, I'm going to do this fight and then come back for the reward. All right, as long as we get the gauntlet on the first one, I think we should be well defended well enough. Now nah, that was kind of a lackluster one, but we get we get a reflect. So, all right, not great. And our magnets are all just ugh. We have reached like critical metal weight. I feel like. I, I kind of want to dig for the health potion like a little bit. That should still be, I think, enough block for us to be relatively uh, not. Nope. I was going to say relatively unscathed, but it was in fact quite the opposite.
I do think poison bath bomb is is important to our our setup here because we need the fluff to start counting. I'd really love to get the health potion, but that's that's why we saved our other our other reward. Okay, another shuriken I think lines up with what we're trying to do. Okay, so let's just get fully healed. The money doesn't really matter to us. Close to fully healed. All right. All right, so first uh, first look at the boss here. They do seem magnetizing, uh, but I'll check. Okay, so... Who are you? You are Melamon. This enemy intends to add items to the machine. And also increase its blocks. Let's get... Let's get the gauntlets, if we can. The other gauntlet didn't land in here. Uh, can we... I wonder, can we mirror the, the dropping stuff in? Probably not, right? We can try it out at least, though. Okay, what do these do? Explodes and deals 10 damage to you. If it is not removed from the machine, deals 20 damage to the nearest enemy when collected. Okay, so so if we leave them in there, they're going to do damage to us. Also, this guy is hitting us, like, a lot, a lot. But that is a great first turn. Now, if we collect it, it does 20 damage to him. Okay, good stuff. So we should probably grab both of these. Or do we get the other gauntlet going? I think I, think I grab nothing. Okay, I grab one spike. Okay. Okay, he's gonna drop more stuff in. So let's do let's grab this. Hope that we get everything. Oh look, it's Twitch chat. Did I miss something in Lustrous? Are you sassing me for that reason or a different reason? Okay, we can get a bit of a heal. I think we got to I think we got to go for for this. Oh, the boss is Twitch chat. I see what you're saying now. All right, and then I will get a bit of healing and hopefully this bomb. All right, we at least got the bomb. Oh, poison bath bomb just landed. That's cool. The boss is Twitch chat. That makes more sense. I thought I had missed some uh something important. Okay, let's see. So, you're dead. We have succeeded. Okay. Congrats, you've beaten the demo. Against all odds, you have clawed your way to victory, but it's only a temporary one, for the evil dungeon lord is still out there waiting for you. You have reached the end of this demo. You can keep playing, but there will be no more new content at this point. However, the game will still keep scaling and getting harder. Uh, thank you for playing. Okay, so we're gonna we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna continue here. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the menu because we have more characters to try to uh, to play with, and maybe we'll do an endless run at the end. There we go. Floor six, very nice. 